Hi everyone, in this video we're going to take a look uh, at an online um, service uh, called Roar uh, at address the Roar, R -O -A -R dot I -O. Now this is a web-based uh, service that allows users to create their own augmented reality experience uh, using different type of technologies, AR frameworks, as well as uh, explore other AR experiences that other people made uh, from all around the world. So it gives solutions for different types of use cases. For example, you can use this as augmented reality for uh, uh, CPG brains, uh, movies, for personal or business use. Uh, use ARKit and ARCore Slam in order to create unique experiences that can run either using a, um, a marker or uh, on a surface. In this video, I'm going to show you how I created uh, a video that uh, uses uh, image recognition that runs uh, once the user points the war app uh, towards uh, the logo, uh, Eric Critic logo, either on my YouTube channel or on my website, on my blog. Now this is a simple uh, demonstration of the app. I just point uh, uh, the phone, the, sorry, the uh, Roar app, uh, which I use on my Android towards a $1 bill. I don't have a $1 bill, so just <laughs> loaded one on Wikipedia and just pointed it and as you can see we can see George Washington there and then if you tap it you can get to Wikipedia and see the term George Washington and read about it. There are also some uh, minimal interactions for example you can resize it, resize it, rotate it, move it, the 3D model and um, so let's go and try to do this thing ourselves but with a YouTube video. This is just a menu that you get to see in the app, in the Roar app and uh, of course I just read about it just to see what are the available options for me? As you can see, there are many options here which you can use. Uh, and of course, I needed to start with something, something simple so I can get familiar with their um, services and the app and uh, something easy to do. If you're using 3D, you need to know what types of files are uh, compatible um, with the system so you know which one it can import and understand and read and then use it uh, in the experience, in the AR experience. Uh, but we'll be using videos, so it will be easier for us. We just need to provide the URL for the YouTube video, uh, so it'll be very easy. All right? Uh, yeah, as you can see, you can also place images, text, uh, audio. I mean, it's it's uh, very vast. It offers a lot of features uh, and customization options, so we can create your own unique customized uh, AR experience. And you can see for each type there are the frameworks. There are frameworks uh, that are being used. You can see for Foria, Wikitude, uh, for the ARKit and ARCore, of course, uh, ARCore and ARKit, and Facebook, 3D Facebook, WebAR. Uh, so each one, this one will work with Safari, probably USDZ if I'm not wrong. Uh, so again, different types of frameworks with different types of uh, experiences. So what I needed to do is to import my own uh, uh, you know, logo uh, uh, and say use this as a marker. So I just use this as a marker so then the app can recognize this image and then place something on top of it. And in our case it's going to be, oh yeah, this was wrong, you actually need to make it uh, taller, uh, at least uh, 320 by 320. So I made a change and I did it again. Now one, uh, once it uh, finished processing, uh, I can test out uh, this uh, marker and see if it works. But before that, we need to add our video, right? So you just drag the component, the video component, on top uh, of the um, marker, and then you need to decide how large you want it to be. And you can drag it around and position it. And again, once you run the app, the Roar app, it's going to be positioned and the same size you are uh, setting it right now. So now I went to my uh, YouTube channel and then uh, copied the URL of the introduction video for my channel because I wanted to use this video uh, on the marker itself. Now what I need to do again is just to paste the URL in the right place and as you can see, paste it. And I thought I'm going to see like a, something like a big view because I wanted to see if this is the right video, but it doesn't show any anything. By the way, my internet connection was very bad that evening, so that's why everything went so slow. Uh, just keep this in mind. Uh, but soon you're going to see the video uh, loads. 
it just slows in the background but it takes time because of the internet connection was so so bad all right so as you can see the video loaded and plays automatically because i set it up to play automatically and then i position it uh you know so it just covers the logo actually it was better if it was just underneath it maybe but because it's for the web you know if you point it in a on a website it's actually you prefer it to you know to be visible easily visible so i decided to put it like this uh and you can uh change some parameters as you can see on the right side uh like opacity and other uh things other parameters uh which uh just allows you to customize the experience the way you would want it to be now here you have the option to save it uh to your roars you can make it public or just uh, make it private because i wanted to test it i need to make it uh public i don't know why actually but uh, something i need to figure out i haven't figured out completely yet but i made it eventually public gave it a name and i was ready to test it out so i just give it a name here at the top i just write air critic um, logo click the ok button and this is it I'm saving it and I'm ready to view it. Now there are a few options to view it. Uh, first of all, uh, I just scan the barcode and can just place it uh, on a surface. As you can see, just scan a surface. Uh, sorry for the settings. <laughs> um, and uh, after it loads again, the internet was very slow. So, uh, but after it loads, uh, you can actually see the video plays uh, on the detected uh, surface. So this is the video plays uh, on the bed cool but of course I want to see it uh, on the marker on my website so let's take a look and see how it works first of all let's take out check out the YouTube and see how it works there again it recognizes although it was a bit different I think uh, uh, there are some lines uh, there but it still recognizes it and it plays it uh, exactly in the same area looks cool and now let's go uh, to the blog and see how it works there. It works fine on my YouTube channel and let's see how it works on my blog. So as you can see, it works the same way. It just scans and detects the image and then places uh, the video exactly in the same location that I told it to. And auto play because I told it to play the video automatically once the marker uh, is detected. So this is it, this is one of uh, raw functionalities. I bring you more videos uh, about different types of uh, features that this uh, website enables with the app, the complimentary app. And this is it, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you soon on the next video. See you, bye bye.